In the previous video, we went ahead and set this up using a table. And recall that this is the time it took to go upstream, and we set it equal to the time it took to go downstream. And now we can go ahead and solve. So we'll go ahead and clear denominators by finding the LCD. Well, there's only two denominators, so that's the LCD, r minus 3 times r plus 3. We'll go ahead and multiply each term in our equation by the LCD. And so let's multiply this first equation by r minus 3 times r plus 3 minus the LCD r minus 3 times r plus 3 times 12 equal to 182 over r plus 3 times the LCD r minus 3 times r plus 3. Some factors reduce as we want. Um, the r minus 3 in the first term reduce out and we're left with 182 times r plus 3 minus 12 times r minus 3 times r plus 3 equal to, and on the right side we see that r plus 3's reduce out and I'm left with 182 times r minus 3. This is an equation with one variable, so we all go ahead and distribute combine like terms and then solve for the rate. So the first distribution I'll get 182r plus 182 times 3, which is 546, minus 12 times, and notice if I FOIL this out, this is a difference of squares, so it'll be r squared minus 9, equal to distributing the 182 we get 182r minus 182 times 3, which is 546. We're not quite done. We still have to distribute that 12 into that difference of two squares. So we get 182r plus 546 minus 12r squared plus 108 equal to 182r minus 546. Let's go ahead and rewrite this left side as negative 12r squared plus 182r plus 108 plus 546, which is 654, equal to 182r minus 546. Right away, we notice the term with the r squared. So this means this is a quadratic equation, and we have to solve by factoring. And the first step is to get 0 all on one side. So let's go ahead and move everything to the right side. And we'll go ahead and add 12r to each side, subtract 182r from each side, and subtract 654 from each side. And notice that we'll get 0 on the left side equal to positive 12r squared 182r minus 182r, those ended up canceling. So we're just left with the constant term of minus 546 minus 654, which is minus 1200. So let's go ahead and simplify this equation. We can see that there's a GCF of 12. So let's go ahead and reduce each term and each part of the equation by 12. We do this, we get 0 equal to r squared minus 100. And now we're all set to factor, apply the zero product rule, and then solve. 
So let's go ahead and factor. We get 0 equals, this is a difference of two squares, so it'll be r minus 10, r plus 10. Apply the zero product rule and set each factor to zero. And then solve where r is equal to 10 or r is equal to negative 10. However, again, what are we looking for? We're looking for how fast Alicia grows in still water. Well, the how fast means it's a rate and it doesn't make sense to go negative 10 miles per hour so we'll go ahead and omit that answer and we keep the positive one and then we could say something like Alicia's rate in still water is 10 miles per hour